Morning. It is uh, 9.44 on Thursday the 14th of November. It's my sister's birthday. Hoorah. Not that I give a shit. I don't really talk much to my sister. You know, she's down there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it is time for today in my boo journal. So how are you? Are you alright? Were you in the live last night? If not, why the fuck not? Where were you? Hey, why, where were you? So we set up next week yeah because we're in this week now so yes we set up next week i posted photos on instagram um and i also made a pocket um this is something that my son and i did at school yesterday and i agonized over how to fold this because it's covered in stickers and puffy stickers and and artwork look and um it was like oh my god how the fuck am i going to put this in and i eventually managed to fold it and then i created this pocket which i'm quite pleased about so i did a little bit of journaling there there's my calligraphy for the day this is where i now can't get it back in the fucking pocket there you go so i don't know whether it's like going in all the way i don't want to go down anymore is that in all the way yeah, that's in all the way by the look of things. So yeah, I was quite quite pleased that I inked it and everything, much to Wendy's shock. Yes, that's definitely in all the way. I felt it go past the thingy. Okay, so um, I am at the last page. This is the last page. So I'm going to move things about today. But I'll get to that in a minute. Let's get uh through today and get to use the horrible beigey fucking shit color okay day face cream did i wear makeup yesterday no i didn't do i did i do challenges yes i did this is really not a nice color um i had booze i had booze and i had a can i had chips for dinner with some good chips i think it was uh, did I craft? Well, yeah, I made a pocket. That counts, right? Of course it does. I haven't been doing my about today. I keep forgetting to write about today. Right, okay, so let's go and have a look. Sure. I'm going to have to write it there unless I write something there. Clean the room. Because that's what I did. And for this one... my e's a bit pissed there bucket the idea is is that um everybody carries an invisible bucket yeah and in your bucket you have um your um your feelings you know the things that make you you and if you do good things or somebody does good things to you or for you you fill your bucket up with nice yeah with happy if people are mean or horrible or negative to you it takes away from your bucket and from theirs and it also you can fill your bucket up with negativity as well and obviously negative shit is heavy excuse me heavier than the positive shit so this is this is daryl's bucket and we did this yesterday in, in like an up uh, session in school yesterday they had washi I was there going, that's washi tape. I know what that is. And I was telling like, everybody in the group and they were like, where can you get that there? And I was like, dude, AliExpress. So this morning I, I sent a photograph of the washi tower to them. And one of the girls scrapbooks and she was like, holy cow, that's a lot of washi. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So there we go. Right, that's awesome. That's in there. Okay, so I have now. That's the tracker for yesterday done. Uh, oh, I didn't put in my um, my uh, stuff last night. So yesterday was yesterday was quite a good day. Uh, pain wise, I'm probably hanging around there. I've gone and joined this step bet thing on um, on, on on the internet. The, uh, <laughs> the other captains in my group 
talked me into it. I'd had a few drinks after the live and um yeah <laughs> they were going oh yeah yeah there's this thing and I'm like right and yeah you step and and if if you meet your child you get you know you, you could get money and I'm like tell me more and uh, yeah they they, they they managed to talk me into signing up so I'm like shit now I've got to reach a certain amount of steps each day otherwise I could lose me money <laughs> so yeah yeah, basically, it's a bit like um, you, you, you. It's a bit like gambling, really. You bet on whether you'll be able to reach the goal that they set for you. It's not outrageous. I mean, my my personal goal was twelve thousand steps a day, which you know, obviously, I've been beating. They've said I've got to do fourteen thousand eight hundred a day, and then on two days, this this particular game I'm playing, I've got to push for seventeen odd thousand. Well, the game actually started on Monday, and of course, I. I beat 70, so I've done my two, what they call stretch days, already, so then uh, I joined up last night and I was like, shit, I'm in just at 12,000, <laughs> you know, nearly 3,000 steps last night to catch up, <laughs> but I did it, I was like, yes, Jamie, and provided I meet the goals that they set for me, every, it goes off for like about six weeks, then I will get back the fee that I paid to, to join in the first place, Plus a little bit more which is quite cool so then I, I can use that to maybe pay towards another game you know and then just save the money from that that'd be awesome so yeah my fringe keeps flopping like that and it's it's fucking pissing me off it's so poofy it's doing my head in right Wednesday I didn't clean the loo yesterday I didn't do any laundry I didn't do anything yeah I literally did not do, I did fuck all yesterday really nice okay um what did i post last night was it the new weekly i actually colored that in wrong then because i colored in that it was ready to go and it wasn't because i colored in for that week and yeah well that's that's right okay so yesterday oh i haven't set up the weekend so i've got to do that I wish you could invite, just invite like everybody in a certain chat or something to events. That would be like really awesome. Okay, so I've done that today. So I need, don't need to use that pen. It's the other pen I need to use. Okay, so let's change the pen. I think I'm going to skip the next one because it's really, really light. So we'll take that one because the next one is like a flesh coloured pen. And it is so light, it's just, it wouldn't even show up. And I think I have trouble seeing that one as well, so we'll skip that one. Okay, so today I have done the day face cream and my makeup. There we go. This is a bit where it's a bit awkward to do because it's right in the, in the spine, but that's okay. I need to remind my mum actually, it's my sister's birthday. I know that might be really fun, but my, my mum's memory is appalling and um, she can't remember when her own birthday is. So um, I have to remind her. <laughs> I go down and I go, happy birthday mum. She was like, is it? Is that today? And I'm like, yes. So she's like, oh. Do you know what? I feel like Teddy Curtis. Do you remember how he used to have his hair when he was young? Oh, for fuck's sake. This is just... Because I need to grow it so that I can go and get it done. What a fantastic card. Isn't that great? Right, so here you have. <laughs> wow, this is this is actually a really really good card. This is a guy who appears to be blind. He might actually be blind and deaf because he's got a red and white striped cane. But he's not letting that hold him back, is he? You know, look at him. He's out. He's running. The dog's having a fantastic time. The cat looks unimpressed like cats normally do, but you know, that's just cats. Um, all these people are cheering him. He has taken charge of his life. He is not letting his disabilities hold him back. Yeah? He is passionate about what he's doing. He's determined. He's seizing life by the throat and fucking throttling it, is what he's doing. 
which is awesome. So if you're feeling hard done by, now you know me, I plain talk, you know, if you feel insulted by the way that I talk, then my channel's obviously not for you. But if you feel hard done by because of your disabilities, man the fuck up, put your Bridget pants on and go out there and seize life. Make the best of what you've got. You know, it's, it's, you are not accomplishing anything in that cycle of depression and that cycle of negativity. Remember the bucket? Yeah, okay, it's that sort of thing. I suffer from chronic pain. I am in pain all the time, 24 hours a day. It never goes away, never goes away. That's partly why I, why I do this. You know, yeah, I have the odd days where a video won't appear. And you guys know why. I'm exhausted, I've, I'm hurting, I need to go lie down. You know, I felt really bad because what was it a month or so ago yeah during the holidays i rolled over in bed and i twinged my back and i missed loads of april's lives and you know there were things i just couldn't do it because i hurt myself but i'm not gonna let that stop me i did let it stop me i did let it stop me for a long long time and then i had daryl and i realized that do you know what i i i have to keep going i'm a big girl and I'm a strong girl and I can fucking do this so make the best of what you've got there is always always a plus side always I might not know what it is so don't you know message me and go well what's the plus side to this because I might not be able to answer that that's something that you have to answer only you know the answer to that I know the plus sides to my problems my issues my disabilities or the things that are currently holding me back and there are quite a few of them my methods might be totally different from yours carpe diem carpe diem it right around the fucking neck i have written do not let your problems hold you back seize life and bite the throat and as soon as i finished writing that i remembered the carpe diem so we're up to date with that, I can't fill that out until tonight. So how did we sleep? So that says it wasn't a bad night, but I was awake a lot. There is a lot of awake up there. 12.45, 6.45. And we've got to wait for a good hour in the night. And a little bit more. Hmm. I remember being awake a lot last night. You know, you have those nights where you're like, I'm sure I was awake last night and you feel crap. But if you have a sleep monitor, it says, no, actually you slept quite well. And you're like, mm. but last night, I, I remember having periods of, I was awake for quite a lot last night. So but I don't feel too dreadful. I feel a bit like, oh God, you know, I could lie down and have a kip. But, um, I don't feel like I'm, you know, dead on my feet. So this morning, come here, pen. It's fallen between the gap between my mat and the fucking keyboard. <laughs> okay, so I have cleaned the loo. I need to go and put some laundry on. I have cleaned the bathroom already. I did that even before I did the school run. So fucking yay me. I'm on the ball today. So I think I need to today post some in progress shots really. No, not yet. End of the month. Okay. I might post my new square tracker today. That's ready to go. I've already got the photo for that because I took that right at the beginning. Okay, so I set up today. Oh, crap. I forgot that was today. Bollocks. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. I 
I've got a phone appointment later and I've completely forgot that was today. Um, oh, I've got a thing also this afternoon. It's school for 2.15 because it's a thing. Right. Mm. Oh, I need to do that as well. Fuck off. Let's put that there. Okay. So what are we doing about this? We're taking this out is what we're doing about this. Okay. Because it has got to the point now where it's too chunky and it's making life a bit hard. So, oh, there goes me poppy. And also my bits keep moving. That's how chunky one signature got six weeks worth. Because I started this at the beginning of October. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. So what are we going to do? Well, we are going to put this in the chunk journal. And use the chunk journal alongside the poppins. Sorry about the light that is now going to blind you all for a second. If you have not seen my chunk journal video, I made this. This is the first time I've had a go at making a journal. And I used a box that um, Woody and Buzz came in for Daryl's birthday or Christmas or some such thing. It was a massive box. And this is the side of the box, which is why this is so massive. So this is going to go back in here. And now I've just got to figure out if I can use it like this. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is find the middle. Yes, all right, Bobby. I am actually considering maybe stitching these as I finish them. You know, I don't know. What, what do you think? People that junk journal or scrapbook to stop them, stop them moving. Like Wendy, Amber, what do you think? Should I? I'm ringing. Excuse me. The thing that I thought was going to happen today, the the that I went oh shit about, yeah, they've just phoned up and cancelled it. Okay. It was supposed to happen in two weeks' time. It was it's a it's a phone appointment for my son's benefits, and it was supposed to happen in two weeks' time, and then they cancelled it and said we need to do it on today at, what was it, 2.40, I think it was, and I phoned him up, and I was like, I can't do that time, that is when I'm picking up my little one. And they were like, oh, oh, and they got awfully shitty about it, and they were like, oh, okay, we'll phone you at 1.40, is that all right? It'll only be about half hour appointment. I said, yeah, that's fine. And then they've just phoned up and said, oh, can we, can we call you a little bit later on in the day because the guy who's gonna phone you isn't available? And I'm like, well, why isn't he available? Do you know what I mean? And I'm just like, no, I'm, so I'm sorry, but I'm not free now between two and three o'clock. So they're like, oh, I'll oh, we'll call you next week. Anyway, as I was saying, do you think this would hold better if I sewed the signatures into place now? Now that I've sort of decided, you know, that's that's that is now a complete signature. Should I sew it to itself? Because the it the out especially this one wants to keep moving. I suppose it would do it any harm, would it? I might do this a bit later. I might sew it a little bit later. So like that one, it wants to keep moving. Compared to how it was folded. So I'm wondering about maybe refolding each page just to reinforce where it should be. And then sewing through the spine of each signature just to help hold it. I think I might do that a bit later on. Yeah, anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is I will be running this in conjunction with the pop-ins. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna stick it in here just yet because I'm gonna sew it a bit later on. I will do that in a minute. So I will do the last page. Stay there. And then we will. Ooh! 
the damn thing falls over if it's not bound shut but yeah right so let's trouble is i need room where you know this is a big fuck off book and i've got to find somewhere to put it Ugh. right let's grab out my stencil yeah i don't want to um like so all the signatures because i might want to slip things in you know like i want to i've got these doilies that um mary sent me and like daryl's done this fire picture of the fireworks and i want to, i'm going to add that as an outside cover to my next signature so that i've got it because it looks cool you know um and i can't do that if i pre-sew which is why i'm sort of thinking i'll sew them as i finish them and I can do that by hand, although I'd love to have a go at doing it with my sewing machine, but I think I'd probably break it. So, <laughs> so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Right, uh, weather. Still look at my burn, it's still there. Okay, it is cloudy. Oh, it's cold today. It is cold today. Daryl's got a runny nose, and I told him today, and in certain terms, that he must wear his hat now whenever he goes outside because I've seen those kids I've walked past that school at break and lunch time and the majority you know 90% of them are outside without their fucking coats on and I said to him today if you're outside I don't care what you're doing I want you to be wearing your coat and your hat there's somebody standing near my front door and they're talking and I don't live like on the roadside my house is back up from the road and the only people that walk along are people that are visiting the houses so when i can hear somebody right outside i find it quite like disturbing i want to open the door and shout fuck off go away go, go talk somewhere else go on Shoo. and the other reason i want to move it all into my trunk is because obviously my challenge is you know so yeah Yellow warning of rain has been cancelled. That's because it's a nice day. So today is the 14th. Blessings is the word for today. Man, I'm thirsty. And I think I'm going to go over where I wrote yesterday. I draw two lines just to make sure that my letters are uniform in height, otherwise I tend to get a bit carried away. That is cool. I'm going to leave that to dry. What was the drawing challenge? Bubbles. Oh, it's just little circles in it. Little bubbles. Easy peasy. I'm basic with that, <laughs> that challenge. <laughs> okay, right. I think I am going to sew this, you know, because even now it's moving and it's doing my nut in. So I'm going to fold each page and then I'm going to just quickly sew it. Um, I'm going to do that now and I might as well do it on camera, being as you're here. And um, yeah if you want to leave now because there's no more journaling gonna happen that's fine i'll see you in the evening edition um if not you know hang on because i've been using brown thread to sew things in and i just think the brown would look better wouldn't it than some white so let's put that one away it's these ones these these right outside ones that are this is tomo river paper so this is thin but it's lost its fold where it's going around such a chunk and i'm just thinking if i sew it 
it will help it hold where it's supposed to be that little bit better than just folding it has done. The only one I'm a bit err uh about is this one with this bit of card stuck to it. So what I'm going to start off by doing, and this one hasn't gone in very well either. That's the one that's inside the card, that's why. So I'll reinforce that fold. Don't need to reinforce the card really. Okay, so I'm gonna do what you shouldn't do, and that is do these signatures in sections. Now this is the awkward page that doesn't wanna fold properly. So if I can get it so that the fold is in there. I'm going to use my template. I'm not going to do five holes though, I'm only going to do three. Line everything up so it's roughly where it should be. It doesn't matter if they're not 100% in place because I don't mind it looking slightly tatty. So there's my middle hole. see this being a bit of a pain in the ass every month but there we go lots of school letters so that can come out this is where we try and make it work see that didn't piss through the fold either This is heartbreaking. I don't think I've given myself enough thread. I've not given myself a lot of room, I know that much. Rule number one. Make sure you have a shit ton of thread. Because you'll want to bind it quite tightly. Don't pull too hard because you'll lose your thread. I should have washed you take that down or something, didn't I? That feels loads better. It's not all fucking moving. There's the thread. And it looks really good because it's brown. And it's actually blending in really, really well because that was in the middle. So I just need to stick in my bits and bobs. And it's not trying to escape now when I open it. It's, you know, there was probably an easier way I could have done that, but it fit. <laughs> this is the junk journal. And now I can just open this to the middle. And I know where the middle is because it's this postcard, so it's, that's quite handy. I've made my elastics quite nice and tight on this as well. So, you know, even if I didn't sew it, it shouldn't move as much. That's awesome. That's freaking amazing. Well happy with that. So I've been thinking about the, um, the binding. Because the way I've got it at the moment is this bit of lace here, which you can't, you can't really see very well, can you? It runs through there and it comes out of the back. And then it's supposed to go up, loop round each of these. And then do up. But the minute you move the book, the whole thing just comes undone. So if you've got any suggestions on a better way I could do this. My thought is maybe once it's a bit chunkier, it'll hold a bit better. But would it be better if I did individual lace? <laughs> Excuse me and tie it around the hitching post or should I take the hitching post off and do something out I don't know so there we go there is signature one of the chunk journal done can't wait till this is full it's gonna be fucking massive 
it is going to sit like a box this thing <laughs> so there we go <laughs> um that ended up being really long i'm sorry about that i'm going to leave that there i'm going to put things away before i lose them and end up stabbing myself oh i've got daryl's little um poppy to put away as well so thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh unexpected little craft with me edition so how are we going to do this well this one is going to hold my planner so i'm going to this has got 2019 in it here which i'm quite happy about that's this book this is my collections really for 2019 this is my future log for 2020 I'm going to move over one. And then my 2020 book, which is this one, is going to go on the last elastic for now. It still needs to be decorated, so it will be removed and played with before it becomes a a permanent fixture so that's what i'm running with at the moment that looks so nice and chunky in there yeah mm. quite like quite like i mean obviously at the end of the year this book will come out and so will this book and i'll literally be running just the two books in here which will be quite novel yeah <laughs> so there we go yeah it also means I can shut my book again there we go thank you so so much for joining me today I really really appreciate it I now need to edit this loads because there's like loads where I was doing other things <laughs> um, I will be back later on with the evening edition I hope you're fantastic today see you later okay short and sweet evening edition I am exhausted. I'm also freezing. I'm wearing like a gazillion layers, including my dressing gown, and I've only just started to warm up. So yeah, I think I need to go to bed. Okay. Um, where are we? That's a reminder to pay a bill. Okay. So I will make up and do face cream. Did I do the challenges? Do you know what? I don't know. Did I do the challenges? Bubbles. Yes, I did do the challenges. I've had a drink and a, more than a can's worth. Did not have chips. I had a Chinese Slimming World Chinese style banquet thing. They're really, really nice. I haven't crafted. I cleared a space on my desk so that the chunk journal can sit here next to me. So I don't have to like stretch for it because I just can't pick it up with one hand. Yeah, I'd say it's probably about there. Nothing in particular that's made it dip. I've got a spasm in my thigh. Yeah, I'm just I'm just tired. I think it's been a good day otherwise. Haven't finished my steps yet. I need to write in the steps for the last two days though. I did a load of laundry. That's about it, I think. Oh no, I'll put the dishwasher on. Well, they cancelled on me, didn't they, while I was filming this morning. I went to the phonics, that was good fun. April's on in a minute. Just hope I can stay awake long enough. Because I really don't think I'm going to. Okay, so that is this finished for today. Oh, hang on. The children have a Mufti day at school. Mufti day, if you don't know, means it's a non-uniform day. And it's the Friday for Daryl's birthday, which is awesome. So let's do that nice pen. Uh, 
I'm going to do it in blue. I don't know if I use blue enough. She says, ignoring the fact that that is blue. So, Friday the 22nd of November. So, I was asked if um, fonts mean anything. Because as you all know, I sort of tend to colour code. So I was asked if the fonts have a special meaning in the live last night. No, they don't. Um, I'll just pick a font and do it. I need to learn some new fonts, I think. And there are some things that obviously I want to um, stand out in a way, you know, so that I can see it. Um, but that's why I do bigger writing. So... Okay, so that one is now finished. I didn't mean for that to close because the ink's wet. And I'll stick that in there just to be honest, so I know that what he's got to take in. Basically, it's a non here in the UK, it's children may school uniforms to school. And um, on certain days, dependent on what it's for, they can go in mufti, which is non uniform, basically. And they, they, they pay to do it. It's like reception, which is Darrell's year. They've only got to pay like a pound or take some chocolate in or something. Okay, so I got a phone call this afternoon. Daryl's fallen over, busted his chin up. And some, they, somebody let go of him and pulled him over or some such thing. So he's grazed his chin. They always spell his fucking name wrong, which I'm not happy about. Yeah, um, got pulled over, grazed chin and cut bottom lip. And also, of course, he knocked the wobbly tooth, which is now infinitely more wobbly. So, yeah. I've also noticed for the past... Almost week. I've been forgetting to put the days in. This is uh, something that Daryl did at school. It's a chalk drawing of the fireworks, and I've put this as the cover for my next signature. Fortunately it's chalk so it's making a heck of a mess. But I don't want to sort of wrap it with anything because then it just detracts from it, doesn't it? So I am going to grab this hard pen and write Thursday up here I think. Right, um, there's not really anything else to do because I've done the challenges. I drew the um I drew the um my ovals they weren't my bubbles they weren't very good but there you go so yeah that's it really I just need to do a little bit of journaling and then um done I'm not sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow whether I'm gonna do something on there Oh, well, I'm just going to leave it and go straight on to the next page. Mm. Anyway, I'm definitely leaving it there because I'm so tired. <sighs> what can my word for today be? There we go. Step it. So I should do a little bit of journaling just to say what I've been doing today. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it's now 10 to 9. I'm going to go to bed for a bit because I'm tired. Which means I'm going to miss April, but I just I can't. I'll see you all later. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Uh, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. If I give the poofy hair. Yeah. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate it. If you leave me comments down below, I would appreciate that too. Click the book over here and you will be subscribed. And if you hit the bell, that then appears down below. You'll be notified when I upload new content. If you have any comments, suggestions, complaints, anything that you want to say, stick it down below. 
Suggestions would be awesome because it would help me then create content for you guys. If you see somebody else make something and you're like, hey Sam, that looks really complicated, you go and have a go at this. I'm up for it, I'll have a go. I don't give monkeys, you know me. Okay, there's a couple of things that I want to have a go at, um, which I'll probably do this weekend. So, well, when I'm not stepping to... <laughs> okay, all right then. Um, I will see you next time. There will be an edition, Friday's edition of Day of My Brew Journal. And I will see you then. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>